I'd like to introduce May from the Netherlands, who takes LDM for Haley Haley's disease. Thank you for joining me, May. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Could you tell me about Haley Haley's disease to start with? That would be a, a good point. Yes, I can. Um, Haley Haley disease. It's a, it's a very rare skin disease. Uh, most of the time you inherit it from one of your parents or family members. Mm-hmm. Uh, in my case, I don't know anybody in, in my, more my mother, mother's or my father's family that has the disease, so I don't know if I inherit it or just was born with it. You were always born with the disease. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's very rare. It causes um, blisters into the skin. As the skin layer is, uh, the, there is a, a uh, defection in a calcium pump, which doesn't make the skin layers to to uh, to layer in a normal way. So actually, the skin just collapses in a way, and that mm-hmm. causes blisters from the inside, and they come to the outside, and you will get some blisters and wounds and sores, and most of the time. The source they will get infected, secondary infection or a bacterial infection, and very often it isn't treated very well by the doctors either because they don't know much about it. And um, in my case, uh, I was diagnosed with Haley Haley in 2011. Uh, I know now that I had it for many years before. But my doctor always said, well, it's kind of eczema, eczema or an allergic reaction to something. Or she also said it was herpes simplex. But now I know that of Haley Haley. Mm-hmm. Do you and get breakouts mm-hmm. of where it gets worse at some periods of time than others? Uh, for instance, when your immune system is more weak yeah. or you're going to be sick, you like the flu or having a cold. My experience is that the breakouts come then. Right. Or uh, because the, I think because at that time your body isn't strong enough. Mm-hmm. And what about the, stress? The stress, stress also, it? yes, definitely. Mm-hmm. I try to avoid stress as much as I, as I can, and I guess other fellow sufferers also experience when they have stress that it's more common to have a breakout also. Mm-hmm. And also uh, heat. Uh, try not to. We have to try not to sweat a lot. So heat can also be a trigger, you know, to 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 uh, to um, let the blisters come out. Yeah. So it's what? In, mm-hmm. What treatments do the doctors give you? Uh, when I got diagnosed in, in uh, 2011, uh, I got some uh, uh, steroid cream from my doctors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, in the beginning, it worked for just a couple of months, but after that, it didn't work anymore. And uh, the first time when I had a major breakout, it lasted for about nine and a half months, the breakout, and um, it was under my breast, also covered most of my stomach and on the mm-hmm. back on my on my back and um, my doctor didn't actually treat me very well because in the beginning she said okay it's shingles mm-hmm. and um, I just became very ill and I almost couldn't walk I couldn't drive my car anymore and I couldn't sleep I just only slept for two or three hours a night and I wasn't paid medication and so so just my, 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 normal, my normal life was just, I couldn't do anything anymore. Sounds and very uncomfortable and painful. Very uncomfortable, yes, very painful because it's also, um, it takes a big part of your life because you, you can't function in a normal way anymore. Mm-hmm. And um, so I went back to my doctor where actually another doctor was sitting there as she was sick. And when he saw the sores, and he says, this doesn't look very good because the sores, the crusts, they were just greenish or yellow and it was smelling. So he said, there is something wrong here and I want to t- take a culture to see if there is not any bacterial infection. And at that time I had major, major bacterial infection. 
So I had to be treated with uh, antibiotics for, uh, I had five cures. Mm -hmm. And then the infection went away, but the source didn't go away. So he said, I can't treat you anymore, so I have to send you to, uh, to a dermatologist. And at the, at the derm, they took uh, a biopsy, and that's the only way they can say that it is Haley Haley. The only mm -hmm. way is to take a biopsy. And uh, that's when I got the, 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 the steroid uh, or the cortisone screen. And they worked for just a, a short while, just a few months, and then the breakout came back again. And both breakouts, I had the major breakouts, they, they lasted for about nine, nine and a half months. Mm -hmm. And the second breakout, at the end, I was like, kind of like, okay, there was nothing they can do, and I just have to live with this, and I didn't get any happier, you know, with this, and felt kind of depressed in a way, and... You're not able to, to live your life you want to live. Just say simple daily things, they are just impossible to, um, to do, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when I came to, an, to another dermatologist, and they wanted to, to do a second opinion, and they did, and still showed Haley Haley. And um, in that time, I just typed on Facebook, I typed Haley Haley, so I came to a Haley Haley site on Facebook, and that really changed everything for me. And um, that's where I, uh, you know, I met fellow sufferers also, because you don't know anybody else in your surrounding with this disease. Mm -hmm. And that's the first time I heard about LDN. I saw the words, the letters LDN, and I, I asked people, what is LDN? And there was uh, Lori Tognoni and Thomas Holm. They explained to me what LDN was and their experiences with LDN. And when I heard that, I just thought, I have to try this. No matter what, I have to try this. And uh, a month later, I had an, an uh, appointment with my dermatologist in the hospital. And I was really also prepared for quite a battle with him because I didn't... <laughs> I thought he, he won't go along with this. So I mentioned this to him. He had never heard about it and didn't know what it was. And uh, I actually said to him, no matter what, if you will not give it to me, you know, I will give it in, I will get it in another way because Lori had also told me she could help me get it in another way. So I, I said to him, I'm going to do it with or without you. And um, after a week or so, he called me back and he said, okay, you can... I will let you try it. And at first he said, okay, uh, you have to try 12 and a half milligrams. I said, no way, that's not possible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because he didn't know of low dose. He yes. just said, break mm -hmm. the tablet and four, and, you know, take one piece of the tablet. And uh, so I said, you have to listen to me and please, you know, prescribe me a prescription of 1.5 milligram mm -hmm. because I know a pharmacy that can make it for me. So we went along with that and... Uh, in, I think, 28th or 29th of November, I started LDN for the first time. And within a week, I, I felt I had more energy. I actually felt so much better than I had been in a yeah, thousand months, actually. And um, I think I also overdid in that first week with LDN. So after that week, you know, the, I felt more fatigued. But... In a strange way, I felt much stronger. And just after two, two and a half weeks, I started to see improvement with my skin. You know, the sores, the wounds were drying out, they were becoming crushed, the crusts were not green or yellow. Mm -hmm. And within a little after three weeks, it was really starting to heal. My skin was really starting to heal. And uh, in January, in let's say about half of January, I was just completely, my, my skin was completely clear. Oh, goodness. It was just completely clear. Everything was gone. Mm -hmm. So for me, that was a big miracle. So how many years had you had it really, really badly? Um, <clears throat> since I got uh, the problems that started for me in 2011, so that was a major breakout. Mm -hmm. and before that, 
you know, in the, especially in the summertime, I had some small breakouts, but I didn't know it was uh, Haley yeah. and his mm-hmm. um, But now, of course, I know. But I didn't have any big problems before 2011. Right. So how many months were you on LDM before your skin cleared totally? Almost two months, and then it was totally clear, not one spot. Unbelievable. It's amazing, right? isn't it? That's that was unbelievable. Really amazing, yes. And um, my doctor he used to phone me every two weeks. So, you know, he phoned me and he said, well, how are things going? I said, boy, you're in for a big surprise when I come to my next appointment because mm-hmm. things are going so well. I'm clear. I said, no way, that can't be possible. I said, yes, it is. And um, my next appointment was, I think, in February with the uh, dermatologist. And when he saw it, he was, he was just silent. He couldn't believe it. He was just so amazed because he said, I didn't have any belief in it, not any belief. <laughs> he said, I just, I had to go along with you. As you said, I will get it anyway. Mm-hmm. So I said, I couldn't just let you <laughs> do this on your own. But he said, I had, he had never heard about it, never. And he was just amazed. So they took pictures, you know, before I began. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and when I came back, they took pictures. And I had a... a when I came back the first time, I had a small rash left, you know, just some crusts. And then when I came back the second time to him, I was completely clear. So they, they took pictures again, and they were just amazed about the results. So is your doctor prescribing LDN now for other patients? Uh, I, I went to see him yesterday, and still big smile and just mm. relief. And he said there was one other patient in the hospital with Haley Haley disease. Uh, he didn't, that patient didn't react to the steroid or cortisone creams, so he had shown my pictures to another doctor, and the doctor treating that other patient now wanted to describe LDM to that other patient, but the mm-hmm. patient wasn't sure or if he wanted to take LDM, but they would try to, uh, to uh, make him change his mind. Mm-hmm. So I thought that was amazing because... They never heard about LDM, and now they are trying to convince another patient taking that, LDM. Yes, so that is LDM. just wonderful, yeah. isn't it? Absolutely and my doctor wonderful. is also uh, going to the study about uh, Haley Haley and LDM because Haley Haley disease is one of the few, or maybe the only disease that is not autoimmune. Mm-hmm. So uh, all the other diseases that people take LDN for most of the diseases are autoimmune diseases. Yes. So I think it's very interesting also why why does LDN help for Haley Haley? They want mm-hmm. to know why. Yeah. Thank you ever so much for sharing your experience with us. It's been very inspirational and I'm mm-hmm. sure there are people out there with Haley Haley's disease who will now think uh, about LDN and I hope seek so. out a prescribing doctor. Yeah, Thank I you. hope so. <laughs> Thank you very much, May. Okay, my pleasure. Thank you.